What is up guys? It's Adam Baum and I'm back here with another episode of Hybrid Animals. I know you guys love this series. I'm gonna keep trying to do it at least once a week, but I encourage you guys to check out my other videos, other series. Really appreciate it. If you like this video, do me a favor and go click the links to go check out some of my other videos. After you watch this one, I'll also leave some cards that you guys can click on. Anyways, without further ado, let's do a dinosaur episode. I've had a lot of people suggest that I do dinosaurs, and I'm sorry if I haven't gotten to your suggestion yet, but there are thousands on the list. I'm not going to be able to do every one of them, and I'm not going to be able to respond to every comment. Used to be able to, but I can't anymore, guys. I'm sorry. I wish I could, but it's impossible at this point. I'll do my best to read every comment, but if I don't respond to it, at least you know that I read it. All right, without talking too much about all that crap, uh, let's try and make a pterodactyl. I think last time, I, did I try a T-Rex and a bat? I feel like we're going to be using the bat a lot if we want to make some flying creatures, but let's see what a T-Rex plus a pterodactyl looks like. We might need to combine it again with another bat to make it look more pterodactyl-ish. Okay, so this is okay. I think if I combine it with a bat one more time, it'll look a little bit more, uh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, more dinosaur -y? I don't know. I mean, more birdie. That's what I, that's the word I was looking for. Man, talking is hard, guys. Okay, what am I looking for here? Um, another bat. So here we go, guys. This is the final test. Is it going to look more like a bat or more like a dinosaur? All right, so it basically looks the same, guys. Honestly, it didn't really do that much, but it looks like it's off the ground a tiny bit. Winged Hawk. Okay, let's add this to the list. So we're gonna get pretty creative here. We're gonna try some different things. Uh, a lot of you guys had some really interesting ideas. So for arthropods, uh, we can combine a bat with something, um, or not a bat, a crab. What am I talking about? Like with a snake or something? So we do have a turtle. So to make a prehistoric amphibian reptile creature, I'm gonna combine a turtle with a dinosaur. Um, because a lot of the creatures at one point, uh, amphibians and reptiles were one class of creatures and at one point they diverged. So if we combine a reptile with an amphibian, we should be able to get something... Uh, wait, is it a turtle amphibian or is it a reptile? I have no idea. Anyways, we're gonna get crazy and just try and make some stuff here. Okay, so this does look a lot more prehistoric, doesn't it? And look at those beautiful stats. That damage though, man. So this looks a lot more prehistoric. So we're gonna call this the prehistoric turtle. Uh, definitely looks a lot more Ice Agey. So speaking of that, I want to try and uh, make this more of a prehistory episode than anything. So I want to throw in a human and make it more look like a Neanderthal. So we're going to take a human and we are going to combine it with a... Not a bear. I had an idea and I can't remember what I was going to do. It has to be standing more... Oh, a sloth. A human plus a sloth, right? That should look a little bit more prehistoric. Oh, a human plus a chimp. That would definitely take us back a few hundred thousand years. Okay, so that just looks creepy. Um, it sucks for the stats, too. We're gonna add it to the list. Eh, whatever. Okay, so wait. Let's try the human um, plus the chimp to make it look a little bit more Ice Agey. Okay, we got the human. And just so you guys have been commenting about it, no, um, the order you do it, mother and father, does not matter. It only affects the stats and the name, so we're not going to care about that stuff at all. It's literally just the combination of them with them that's an algorithm, and it does not matter what order you do them. So please stop commenting telling me that I'm an idiot and don't know what order I'm doing. It is totally fine. Okay, human plus a chimp. Let's do this thing. Um, human plus a chimp should look really prehistoric looking. Uh, look at that face on the chimp, though, dude. That is one weird face. Okay, so I think, yeah, this looks a little bit more prehistoric. If I combine it with the human one more time uh, to take it forward a few years, we should have something that looks more like a Neanderthal. Human plus our bald ape. So this should look a lot more human, and that's what we're going for. We're going for a Neanderthal. All right, here we go, guys. It's It looks like exactly the same. Okay, so at some point, I think we've learned something here, guys. Um, You've, if you've already got something, you combine it with something you've already done it with, it won't change it at all. So that's that's something new we've learned. Um, okay, so let's let's go back to the more reptilian creatures. Let's do like a frog plus a snake. Maybe that'll be something cool. Um, and we'll try the bigger dinosaurs in a little bit too. Okay, here we go. This should look pretty reptilian. So again, we got another... Oh my god, look at this thing, dude. It looks like an iguana. Whoa, dude, we made an iguana. So, um... Yeah, reptile plus an amphibian should look a lot more dinosaur. -y. So I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna keep this, and we're gonna use it as a base to combine it with other things. So let's take what we just made. Um, it kind of looks like a spitter from uh, Jurassic Park. If you guys kind of get what I'm saying, if you haven't seen that, it's not gonna make any sense to you. So we're gonna take the bald cobra. What if I combine it with a scorp? No, not a scorpion. 
Uh, I'm going to buy it with a T-Rex. I, I know it sounds a little crazy because it's way smaller, but it might look like a raptor or something. I know we can make a raptor by combining a T-Rex with something a little bit stockier. Oh gosh, that looks so cool, guys. Look at that dino. Oh man, I really, actually, really, really like how that turned out. That is a great, great job. So that's my favorite one so far, guys. Um, hmm. So, do we have a cow or something? I think we have something similar to that. We have a horse. I'm trying to get something. Oh, what about a hippo? A hippo plus a T-Rex might look more like a, like a vegetation-eating dinosaur. And if you guys can't tell already, I freaking love dinosaurs. As a kid, I, I played with dinosaurs all the freaking time. Dinosaurs are the best. If you guys don't like dinosaurs, I don't know what's wrong with you. So yes, we do have like a lumbering dinosaur look here. And if we combine this with something that's closer to the ground, maybe we can get something that looks more like a dinosaur, because there aren't any two-legged, on two legs uh, herbivores that I know of. Oh no, there are a few. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, let's try and combine that, and let's get it to look a little bit more like a dinosaur. So here we are going to take... Let's take our Slithering Raptor. Oh, it, it actually did take the name of a raptor. So the, uh, the creator of this game did think out some things, guys. Did think out some things. That makes a lot of sense. I didn't even check the name. Monstrosity. Okay, so it doesn't even give it a name, but I really like the look of this guy. Look at this, guys. What a beautiful, majestic creature. I know the mouth doesn't look good, like... The mouse are always the worst looking parts of the animals after you combine things. But uh, yeah, anyways, let's move on. Let's add this guy to the list and hmm. Okay, so I want to make like, a Triceratops or something. I think not an elephant. An elephant would be a good base to start with, but if we do anything with the elephant, unfortunately it will have that big freaking uh, trunk and it's not going to look anything normal. So if we do a rhino combined with something with more horns. Um, let's try and do a goat. Rhino with a goat and then plus a dinosaur. I think we might be able to get a Triceratops, guys. I'm really excited about that. Let's see what we're gonna get here. Three horns is all I'm looking for, and then we're gonna combine. Yes, we did it, guys. We're getting closer to the Triceratops. All right, so we're gonna take that plus the, um, okay, so we got the big horn grammar, and we're gonna combine it with one of our dinosaurs. I think this one would look more, um, more, what am I talking about? Uh, Triceratops, because it's on four legs. Oh no, it's not on four legs, but this one is, and it does have the three horns, so I'm hoping for something good here. Come on, baby, give me my Triceratops. No, it's not on the ground. Okay, so that was a failed creature, one of the first ones I'm not really happy with. Um, unfortunately, not what I wanted, guys, so we're gonna toss that guy. Okay, so we gotta have something, a dinosaur, that is on four legs if we want the Triceratops. So let's take it again and let's combine it with something smaller. How about, um, how about the Shell Chomper? We might be able to do something there, guys. I don't know if it's gonna look good, though. See, the issue with that turtle is, though, that the legs are sticking out of the top, and I, I just don't know if that's what we want. Okay, this looks okay. It's basically a horned, um, shell creature. So it looks okay, actually. If it didn't have the shell, it would look a lot better. But you know what? It's something. It's a start, guys. It's not perfect. And we're not aiming for perfect. It's too hard. Um, so let's do some uh, underwater creatures like a um, ichthyosaur. You guys know what an ichthyosaur is, right? It's like kind of like a uh, underwater uh, killer fish-eating monster with a long bill kind of nose. That's like the worst description I've ever given for anything. But I'm, I'm trying hard here, guys. So let's take a dolphin plus maybe one of our dinosaurs and maybe we can get something... Oh, an alligator would be perfect. Maybe we can get something that looks a lot more reptilian. Dolphin plus a alligator. So it should still have four limbs. Maybe maybe more fins than we want. Oh, that looks sick. Okay, it needs to be green though, man. Or maybe dinosaurs weren't green. Or may, they, don't, they always depict the underwater dinosaurs as being like really heavy blue or really heavy green. And I think probably they had different colors, right? They're probably like brown and stuff. So it's a start. I'm going to add it to the list just in case we want to use it again. Um, it's okay. It kind of looks like an underwater creature, right? Kind of looks prehistoric. All right. So what else do we have here? Um, hmm. <laughs> we could make like a mastodon. Okay. Wait, if we take an elephant plus like a horse or something that might look more like a mastodon 
Um, I've actually found a Mastodon fossil before. If you guys are interested, I might do an episode on some of the fossils I found in Las Vegas. There's a ton of good fossil hunting places around Nevada, uh, up in the mountains around here, and I love collecting fossils. I know it's really nerdy, but if you guys are interested, I might make like a life vlog type video on that. Because I love teaching you guys about things, and I love showing off stuff that is my real life hobbies. You guys can get to know me more. I love doing that kind of stuff. So, um... You know what, guys? It's not its not that great. I'm going to toss it. Um, so we do want the elephant part of it. But the horse just didn't work out, in my opinion. What about... What, what would work here? What would be brown and big? But not too much like a horse. I, d I don't know. I don't know if there is anything that I would really enjoy that much. What if I try the horse again, and then I do it with, like, a... A walrus. I don't know. We're gonna try that. I know that sounds absolutely crazy, guys, but just keep with me here for a second. Elephant plus horse plus walrus might make it a little bit fatter. That's what I'm going for. So this this doesn't look that great. I mean, it's better than nothing. Okay, so we have our African steed, and then we're gonna combine that with the walrus, I said. Yes, walrus. It's gonna look a little weird, trust me, but I think if we do a few more iterations, it might start to look like what we want it to. Please don't be on the ground and just have no feet. Oh gosh. You know what guys? This is actually really close to what I wanted. I know the face looks really derpy and the tail looks really derpy, but it's kind of close to a mastodon. Okay, so it's not perfect. It's not perfect, right? But it's still it's still a good try. So what other reptilians can we think of here? I know you guys are gonna have tons of suggestions after this video, and I might do a follow-up video if it gets enough likes and comments. So that's how I usually know to make another video if you guys support it with likes and comments. Not that I'm begging for them, but that's just how I know. You know, it's 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 just how things work on YouTube. So uh, that's that's that. All right, so let's try maybe one more thing, and that's probably be it for this episode. Um. So I really like this guy. This guy turned out awesome. Um, what else could we make that looks more like a dinosaur? I'm trying to think of other options. All right, you know what? Let's do like an arthropod looking thing. Let's do a scorpion plus a crab. I think that might look like, not like a trilobite, like not at all like a trilobite, but it might look like something that we'd find on the bottom of the ocean, you know? I, mean, I don't know if you guys are following my ideas here at all, but if you are, let me know with a comment. And if not, give me suggestions on how to do better. Because I definitely want to tell you guys, or explain as I'm going what I'm doing. So it's like an underwater scorpion, kind of. It looks okay. Let's see if we can combine it with anything else to make it look a little bit more prehistoric. Let's combine it with a stingray, and that might look like a trilobite. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you can look it up. Like a trilobite relative, you know, that has a little bit more bite to it. So hopefully it's green. That's all I'm hoping for. Or maybe brown. I don't care. Okay, this looks really freaking weird. <laughs> what? Uh, it looks like it's floating. Okay, that's definitely odd. Not what I wanted. It looks like a lever. It's like, oh, it's got a hook. It's the hookback, the beach hookback. What a dangerous looking creature. <laughs> okay. Well, I think this was a pretty productive episode. I know I'm going to do another episode on this because I'm really excited about it, but I want to hear from you guys. I want your support to make the next episode. Don't forget to leave your suggestions. Thank you so much for watching the video. Leave a like, and remember, you guys are the bomb.